Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. Wait, this is a middle school science fair, and we have seventh and eighth grade students here who have been working hard since the beginning of the school year. Our project is apples preserved, and we are trying to keep apples from turning brown. My project is how heat affects enzyme activity. My project is emotion commotion, and it's testing how your emotions affect your actions. The project was if there's more weight on the drone, does the body last longer or is the body life shorter? We are doing a project on reaction time. We are seeing if boys can react to color faster than girls. I pretty much wanted to know if your smell affects your taste. Our project is seeing if your phobias get better or worse in groups of people. They've been doing all this work to find out more about their topics, to figure out um, what their hypothesis is going to be. And what I had found is that ladybugs react the most around car sounds and the least around rain sounds or no sounds at all. And we proved that the five second rule should not be allowed. We're trying to figure out which lemon juice product will work the best, fresh lemons or lemon, bottled lemon juice. Our hypothesis was that they would get better with the group of people because of the power and number. So girls use more of the brain, although it's eight percent smaller. We use fewer brain cells and less energy, so we are faster than boys. I don't quite know why. One of the variables could have been that I was doing research and I found out that bacteria grows fastest on 31 degrees, but I made the mistake and I thought they were talking Fahrenheit, but they were talking about Celsius. I measured how long it would take the kiwi that was heated up to melt the jello. We could not see bacteria at all, but we did see mold, and the food item and liquid that grew the most mold was chocolate and celery. Even though my findings showed that 5 seconds grew more bacteria than 10 seconds, I would still personally recommend that you just throw it away. And this information could be useful if you are trying to get rid of ladybugs in your house and you want to know where they're at. At this fair, we're going to be deciding which projects scored the top um, and, uh, and also deciding about projects that will go on to our next level of competition. So I wanted to tell the public which toilet paper dissolved the best so that it would not clog your pipe as much and we can make our water that is recyclable. Um, and they're also getting some great food from Elliot Test Kitchen because that's how we roll here in Fort Madison. Thank you to Elliot Test Kitchen.